my original songs for you if you don't mind. We're going to break right into them right here now. Hope you're having a good evening. Captain Boomer, the uh, podcast coming to you live from the Twin Cities area. A lot of people didn't know I wrote a lot of these songs, but uh, let the truth be known because, I mean, look what the hell's happening out there now. you got people out there admitting to fondling kids and women and all this stuff. I don't know where it's going to... So I figured, what the hell. I didn't, you know, I, but I did write these songs. But anyway. There is I gotta get the chords all right. There is a house in New Orleans. They call See what I'm saying? I just I played this song fifty thousand times. I try to play it here. I can't do it. Anyway, how about this one? I can do this. Who's the leader of the club that's made for you and me? M I C. See you real soon. K E Y. Why? Because we're medicated. M O U. Join the club who's made for you and me. M I C see you real soon. K E Y M O U S E. Yeah, I wrote that one. It's a rhythm song. Didn't get credit for it, but okay, let's put this thing, silly thing back. How you doing, guys? Whoa, when somebody stole my stand. What happened there? That ain't right. How you doing, Cousin Susie? How you doing, my brother Bruce? How you doing? Oh, Boomer's out there. We're going to, um, this is Captain Boomer, coming to you live from the Twin Cities here with my podcast. Like I've told you before, and I'll tell you again, this is just a, uh, a hobby of mine, and I love doing it. And uh, I would just love to get a little more feedback, if it's possible. But because of the airwaves where they are, and my very limited knowledge of um um podcasts and speakers and i read up a little bit here and there but boy i tell you this is like i told you before i'm gonna be a drunken monkey trying to land on jupiter for the christ's sake it's i don't i don't know i push buttons and gadgets i got duct tape holding stuff together my budget i'm on a really low budget i'm telling you oh jeez anyway i'm gonna do play a little bit of uh a little bit of, uh, we're going to have a little bit of Buddy Holly with a little bit of Peggy, Peggy Sue. How about that for you? We'll play that right now here, like, okay. Let's see if we can push the right buttons this time, because a lot of times I don't. I know that, and that's very irritating. Uh, here we go. A Peggy Sue, then you know why I feel blue. Oh, Peggy, oh, my Peggy Sue. Well, I love you, gal. Yes, I love you, Peggy Sue. A Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue. Oh, how my heart yearns for you. Oh, Peggy, oh, my Peggy Sue. 
Oh, well, I love you, gal. Yes, I love you, Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue. A pretty, 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 pretty Peggy Sue. Oh, Peggy. Oh, my Peggy Sue. Oh, well, I love you, gal. I need you, Peggy Sue. Woo, here we go. I love you, oh Peggy Sue, with a love so rare and true, oh Peggy, my Peggy Sue, well I love you gal and I want you Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, pretty, 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 pretty Peggy Sue, oh Peggy, oh, my Peggy Sue, well I love you girl, I need you Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, with a love so rare and true, oh Peggy, my Peggy Sue, oh, well, I love you, girl. I want you, Peggy Sue. Oh, there it is, Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue on a little croaky action here with my Peggy Sue. I screwed it up a little bit, but nonetheless, uh, Oh, I forgot to get my plug-in. We are sponsored tonight, as usual, by the Villages of Viagra. Maybe you saw it out there on my on Facebook once in a while. But the Villages of Viagra, if you still don't know by now, um, they are a, a senior living community up at Frostbite Falls, Minnesota. And Rocky and Bullwinkle are... Uh, they are the... <laughs> what would you call them? Uh... Well, they're not the owners, but they are, the, um, they're the hosts, let's put it that way. They are the hosts to the Villages of Viagra. And if you get a chance, um, you can write the studio here, you can call them here, text me or email or uh, Twitter, Twitter, whatever the hell it is. I don't have any of that crap. I'm just bullshitting. Anyway, um, yeah, if you get a chance, go on up and check out the Villages of Viagra, where every day, or even a hard day, is a good day. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, man. Let's do that again because I lost my uh, my uh, thing here. Here we go again. Where even a hard day is a good day. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Anyways, and also we are... Captain Boomer's podcast is also a... Military Appreciation Station. Always have been, always will be. And... Um, Big shout out to the people that make it all happen for us all on a scheme of things, on a great big scheme of things. If you look at the whole spectrum the, of our country and what we get to do in this country and what we get to say and how we live and and, and uh, how we prosper and how, what we do with our lives, a lot of it, believe it or not, is is uh, in some cases directly, but in more, more cases than not, it's indirectly uh, because of the unselfishness and the sacrifice of our young people that go out every day and uh, protect our our interests, our rights, our joys, and our, you know, our lifestyles. So hats off to you guys every day. Like I said, I am a military appreciation station. God bless you guys and keep up the good work and make it home safe. And if you're in for your, uh, if you're in for a long hitch, if you're in for a career, God bless you. Uh, thank you. Uh, we need people serving on a uh, career type uh, uh, level. All right, thank you guys. Anyway, we're going to go on here now. I wanted had to get that out of the way. My sponsors there, the Villages of Viagra. You got to love them guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, I got a request out here. No, I don't get a request, but I, I got to pretend. This whole thing is just pretend. I make this shit up, okay? Anyway, I just got a call. Uh, thank you. And they uh, got somebody wants to listen to we're going to go listen to a little bit of uh, Three Dog Night. And you know why? <laughs>
Because mama told me, mama told me not to come. That's all I can say. to see on Facebook here, the Milwaukee Avenue Gang, 1954. I hope you got a chance to see it. I know uh, Mildred Puckett, she got to see it. She commented. Thank you, uh, Millie. Uh, uh, and uh, Judy Schwartz and uh, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that is a classic photo. I love that one. Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. tell you one thing I know how we had fun as kids yes you do how about and I'm just uh, the stuff right here I got in front of me uh, you guys remember I okay have a little kick the can huh kick the can kick the stick um kick the stick we used to play on the four corners I think uh, we used to play under the street lights I know that and kick the stick was kind of like it was it was like play, play, playing baseball but only with a stick you kick it out in the street. And we used to do that on 22nd, on the corner of lovely 22nd and Milwaukee Avenue. Yes, I am. And I'm proud of it. Part of the original Milwaukee Avenue gang. Um, and then there was, uh, what else did we have here? Yeah, we used to play 60. We used to play, well, hide and go seek. That was, a, uh, that was uh, all the time. And then there was, um, um, oh, what the heck was that other stuff we used to play? At midnight, too spooky or something, whatever the heck it was. I don't know. Captain Midnight or... Well, I played Captain May. I remember that one. Uh, the wife likes to play that with me once in a while at, at night. <laughs> Captain May, I... <laughs>